Okay, here is the latest on the pendant. Um, this is now uh, has a fully machined uh, housing uh, made out of Delrin. Um, and uh, you can see that this is the push button version. Um, I am still thinking about going into a membrane switch, but the uh, push button version has actually turned out pretty good. So I'm not sure yet um, which direction I want to go. But uh, anyways, um, I'll go ahead and walk through um, all the buttons. I know it looks like a lot, um, but it's actually pretty easy to understand once you start using it. Um, the uh, the top button here is for set and zero, and then also dividing by two. I'll show you that later. Um, green is start, uh, yellow is pause, um, red is stop. Um, the start button is guarded with a two second uh, timer, so you have to hold it for two seconds to actually start the program. Um, same with the, uh, the uh, origin or, or, um, or the zero. Um, you have to hold it for a couple seconds, and then that will um, set your zero and then if you hold it for a couple seconds longer then it will also do a divide by two function if you are finding center of a part. So um, th that's uh, these guys right here. The uh, This bottom button is coolant um, and that may change to a blue button. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, they were actually out of stock so I just ended up throwing a black one in there. Um, then the other buttons you're going to see with the LEDs on them are going to be your mode selects. And um, this is for the X axis, this is for the Y axis, and this is for the Z axis. So I don't have my overlay um, designed out yet, but uh, that's coming um, eventually. Um, so that is kind of covering all these buttons um, around the, the MPG. Um, and then we'll go ahead and work down here. Um, you'll see there's two rotary um, uh, selector switches here. And uh, the one on the left here is going to uh, control the overrides. And if you just notice that, as soon as I adjusted that, uh, the, 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 sele or the, the uh, button down here lit up because that is actually what selects um, to focus on the MPG so you can select the over or any override, the feed, RPM, max velocity, and jog. So um, the top one, I guess, on the far uh, left here is feed. That's RPM override, and then you can use the MPG to control it. And then uh, max velocity is the, the third one in, and then the fourth one. So um, yeah, so what what's really happening here is the, uh, the, the, the buttons are selecting what the encoder is going to control or the MPG is going to control. So um, right now, when you select an axis, it's going to, you know, the, the, the MPG is going to control that axis, that Z axis. And then, of course, when you select down here, it's going to um, control the override um, function. So that's that selector switch. The selector sw switch on the right here is going to be for um, stepping in increments of a tenth and then a thousandth. And then there's also a continuous mode. Um, which I'll show later. I'll show everything later. And then the last but certainly not least is the dynamic mode. That's probably uh, my favorite, probably what I'll have it on most of the time. Um, and I'll show that probably towards the end. It's still kind of in development. Um, but uh, I'll definitely uh, show it off and let you see what I'm working on. Um, the last couple buttons you're going to see are the uh, Z positive and the Z negative. Um, and then also um, we now have an analog joystick that, uh, that does some uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool things. Um, so I'll show that also. Um, one thing that you may not be able to see um, is the uh, joystick has a uh, center uh, push down button. So I'll show that um, later on. The uh, other thing is you may hear that there's a little uh, buzzer. Um, that's mainly for the origin. It is nice to kind of hear it, especially when you're not looking at your at, at the uh, pendant um, when you're controlling it. Um, it's nice to have that, that audible feedback, I guess. Um, the, uh, the origin, I'll just go ahead and cycle it through. Uh, if you were to zero, we'll say X up here, um, and I'll hold it down, and that zeroes it. Then if I was doing a divide by two function, I would hold it. And then that would divide that, that uh, offset by two. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start um, showing you more of PathPilot and how it's kind of integrated into PathPilot and, and working. Um, and then uh, maybe uh, touch off some things and kind of uh, run it around and, and, and try and demonstrate that.
Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start out with the overrides here. Um, right now it is in, I guess, the X uh, selection mode, or, or the MPG is controlling the X axis right now. Um, so to get the pendant over to where it is controlling the overrides, um, there's two things you can do. One is you can adjust um, this uh, uh, selection switch right here, um, and it'll automatically dance the LED down to this button um, and, and put it in, the, in that mode, or you can just hit the button right here and um, and it'll do that also so right now it's in the top left um, right here and then that will control the feed um, override so you can see that and um, if you've seen some of my other videos um, how I have it is um, for anything over 20% it's in 5% increments and as soon as it drops down below 20% then it goes down to 1% uh, increments so that's feed right there um, RPM is kind of the same thing that's in 5% increments Increments all the way through. Um, the uh, max velocity is going to be um, five percent, and then as soon as it gets down below twenty percent, it'll jump down to one percent um, increments, and then obviously jump back up to five percent. So that is that one, and then the other one is jog. Um, so I just flipped, or I just flipped it over to this uh, far position over here, um, and now it's controlling the uh, jog uh, override there. So, um, that is how to adjust the overrides. So the next thing I will talk about is um, some of the stepping functions. Um, right now we are still in the override um, uh, uh, selection mode down here. Um, as soon as you touch a button, um, let me see if I can get Pathpilot to focus in here. As soon as you touch a button, um, right now this is the, this is the control knob that uh, adjust the the uh, increments and then also which uh, step mode and um, continuous mode and all that so um, right now it's in the in the far right let's see if we can zoom back in here on the pendant it's in the far right um, and uh, what will happen is um, as soon as I push the uh, let me get Path Pilot to focus in. There we go. Um, as soon as I hit the uh, X axis here, what it'll do is you'll see it um, push that button um, in the, uh, and you may not be able to see it here on the small screen, but um, what it'll do is it'll push the uh, tenth button. Um, so then if I switch this over to uh, a thousandths, um, if you look, it'll switch, um, as soon as I change it, it'll switch that. Uh, that increment over automatically, but then also any time that you hit the button, um, it'll it'll also switch back into that increment. So that is uh, the tenth and the thousandths position. Um, the other thing that we can do is um, is since we are. Um, we have a step in continuous mode. Um, what we can do is now we can start using the joystick. Um, and when I um, right now when I'm in step mode, I have a function in there that um, is called like I don't I'm not sure what to call it yet. It's probably like a power um, or a auto increment or something like that or auto step. Um, but what it is is um, since this is an analog joystick, what I can do is apply a little bit of pressure and. Um, what it'll do is it'll slowly step um, in whatever increment I'm in. So I'll go and switch to a thousandths just so we can see a, a bigger and you can hear it also a little bit better. So as I put more pressure on the joystick, you'll, you'll hear it start to speed up. And then that can go all the way till it's just it's stepping just like you were with the encoder. And then that only works for the, um, the X and the Y axes. So you'll see that. Let's see if we can get Path Pilot to focus in. Sorry. So that is for, I guess, auto stepping with the joystick. Now, also, you can, um, just like a normal pendant, you can um, uh, adjust it with the, uh, the MPG also. And what I'll do is I'll switch over to step. So now the MPG runs the, uh, the, uh, the stepping functions also. And there's that. 
And then what we can do is if we click down on the joystick, we can switch over to continuous mode. Um, and then that will run the, uh, the machine in, um, in continuous, similar to like hitting the arrows um, on your keyboard. Um, and it'll follow exactly whatever your, um, your jog uh, percentage is or your jog override is doing. So if I wanted to real quick, um, we'll flip it over to our jog override and maybe go down to 20%. You can see that I slowed down. If I went up to 100%, then it's going to go up to that override percentage. So that runs. Um, also, the Z, these are the two Z buttons, Z up and down. Um, and that, again, will also work off the, the uh, jog override. So you can see I just uh, dropped it down a little bit, and now, uh, now the uh, feed is reduced. Um, the uh, other function is continuous. Um, so continuous is kind of um, where you're able to use the um, MPG to move the machine like you would with a joystick. So if I rotate it, I'm trying to get the machine and everything in here. Um, if I rotate it, it'll move that axis. Um, just as you're rotating it, only to the jog percentage that you have. So for instance, Z, if I'm rotating it that way, if I go in negative direction, or if I flip back over and went to 100% and I was trying to just get out of the part, that's, uh, that's at a full speed there. So I believe that covers everything. That covers the tenth, the thousandths, and then also the continuous. Um, the dynamic, um, I'll show here in a minute. The other thing I didn't show, um, and this kind of goes in with the auto-stepping um, feature um, with the joystick here, um, is on the um, Z, if you um, tap it once, it'll step in whatever increment mode you're in. Uh, let's see if we can get Pathpilot to focus again. Sorry about that. Um, we can get it to step like that, or if we want to, we can hold it down and it'll do an auto step in that uh, when you're just holding down the button. So I think it's about a one second delay. I can't remember what I put in, but um, yeah, if you hold it down for more than a second, then it'll just start automatically incrementing. So that's nice if you're, I don't know, coming down on, on Z or, or, or something like that. Okay, so I'll show you um, some of the, I guess, guarded buttons here, um, and also setting the origin. Um, if uh, if I was over here, I'm not really going to touch off a part here, but you'll get the idea. Um, the white button is to zero and also to divide by two. So um, if you hold down that button, it'll divide or it'll set zero. And I'm in the y-axis mode, so I just uh, zeroed out my y. If I wanted to zero out x, I would hold it. And you'll listen for the audible tone. The first tone is going to be for setting off zero. And if I was going to set off and do a divide by two, um, I would come over here and you know we'll say jog down. And um, if I was in step mode, I could um, you know touch off the part right there. And let's pretend that I just touched off the edge there. What I can do is um, then do a divide by two function. And what you'll hear is a, a three short burst uh, tone and that will automatically divide by two um, for that axis that you're selected on. Um, the other button um, here that is guarded is the start button. Um, so if you press it, right now I'm pressing it, it's not gonna start the program. But what you have to do is hold it down for one or two seconds, or I can't remember what it was, um, and that'll start the program. Um, and then if you look, this isn't obviously the right uh, tool for the program, so I hit, went and hit pause real quick, which is the yellow button. Um, and then obviously um, I could hit stop to get out of the program, um, which I'll do that right now. That stops it, and then while we're here, this is for the coolant. Let's see if we can focus in. So that button will uh, turn on and off your coolant there. So the last mode is going to be dynamic mode. Um, and that is really, uh, it's still, I'm working on it still, so it's not uh, really even done yet. But um, 
to give you kind of a sneak peek on it, um, what that does is it blends all, um, I guess, the, the increment, the continuous, um, or, the, or the stepping functions and the continuous, all into one mode, I guess. So, um, and just to show you right now, like, we'll go ahead and flip over to X here. Um, the, you can see when I uh, move the, enc the encoder, let's see if I can zoom into PathPilot. This may be kind of hard. Um, when I zoom into PathPilot here, you'll see that when I move or when I increment the encoder, it is stepping in tenths right now. Um, now that is because I'm going slow. So as I start to speed up the encoder, and I'll try and get the the, uh, the MPG, I guess I should say, um, as I get it in the frame there, you can see it's still um, intense when you're going slow. Then when you start going a little bit faster, it, it jumps up to a thousandths, and you don't have to select anything or do anything. So um, so what that allows you to do is to really rapidly get to a number. Let's say um, I was going to, um, we'll just say zero, why not? Um, go down to zero, and now you don't have to select anything. You just um, drive it right into that zero, and it's it's very intuitive, I guess, on on you know jumping between the different increments to get um, what you want. And I'm still uh, working it out, trying to smooth it out even more. But um, for right now, it's really nice. Um, so again, I'll just show you if I was uh, sneaking up to we'll say a half inch. There's a half inch right there. Um, and I don't have to select anything or change any dials or anything like that. It just automatically will select it depending on how fast you're, uh, you're uh, rotate or moving the MPG. Now, so that's one function of dynamic, um, the dynamic mode. And then the other one um, is going to be the joystick becomes proportional. So now the joystick... Um, it will step depending on how much pressure you're applying to it. So right now I'm applying a little bit of pressure in both X and Y, and you can hear the machine moving and also see it moving maybe. Um, but then depending, you can go as fast as you want depending on if you're, if you're um, completely on it there. And uh, it's just like one of those Xbox controller joysticks, um, but it's really nice and it really works well. Um, so yeah, if you were like touching off a part, um, you could go really slow into the part and then quickly switch over to uh, to uh, the the uh, MPG and um, get to whatever exactly what you need. But um, yeah, I think between the two, um, I really don't see myself getting out of this dynamic mode very often. Um, it's just I don't know. It just has everything that I need right there. Um, and then obviously the feeds are a completely different animal. So um, you know, if I was uh, needed to adjust the feed real quick, like let's say max velocity, then I can always do that. So yeah. Also, um, I wanted to add that uh, this uh, also will work with um, my uh, three-button controller. Um, that I've been working on. Um, so yeah, if I was to adjust the max velocity or RPM um, or feed, I mean, in RPM, um, this does the same thing pretty much. Um, so I mean, if I wanted to, they could almost fight each other here. Um, but uh, yeah, they both work together and um, 